there we go. For Team Acer it will be Tamarillo. And for Dignitas I have no idea yet. Um, but if I want to take a look in my stream chat I have to alt tab sometimes. So you will see the screen minimized sometimes. So, we are going live, but we are going to change our camera position as well. So, it seems like it's going to be Carl Jr. Tom Morello versus Carl Jr. in the 1 versus 1. Carl Jr. taking an early lead in. And Tom Morello is uh, recently back from Tokyo. Uh, probably the reason why he drives with a Japanese car. Um, he trained uh, during the week a little and is now chosen for the one on one. And well, we all know Carl trained already, so uh, wasn't a big surprise Carl would drive to one on one. But he's taking the lead with just 1500s, 1300s to be correct. So it is a very close round, but Carl doesn't seem to make a mistake. Last corner. Ooh, oh, there. Oh, wow. Tamarillo overtook Carl Jr. in the last corner. <laughs> Amazing. Really, really a good round. He was behind the whole round, and in the last corner, he gets him anyway. And, oh, we have to change again. Anyway, I think I have to do it every time. So a 1-0 lead, a good start, but Tamarillo. Carl again being a bit faster, just a little bit at the start. Same like last round. Oh yeah, that's that's risking. Um, Tamarillo going too wide, making a mistake at the landing. Yeah, well the mistake was going too wide and uh, Unfortunately, he had a landing bug because of it, and Carl is now just driving in front and probably relaxing a little bit. And he probably knows Tamarillo crashed. Tamarillo 7800s behind, no chance of getting near Carl Jr., or he has to make a mistake. But Carl just drives to the finish without problems, and with a nice time anyway. 57.86 by Carl. So, uh, why did I start playing with only camera three? Um, to be honest, I really have no idea. Uh, one week ago, when we had New Year's Eve, uh, during that week I started driving a little bit with camera three. And uh, in no time, I, uh, I actually drove good times with it. And uh, when I turned back to camera two, it felt really s it, camera two felt really slow. And uh, yeah, uh, with camera three, I drove a world record on a uh, TTC map, True Talent Cup map in Trackmania 2. And I was like, well, let's try it out. So I'm just uh, still trying it out, but it works really fine. But if we look at the round, then Carl is again being in front. Uh, at the start they were equal, but at the middle part it was Carl taking the leading. At least 20 hundreds in front, 25 in front, and another 57 by Carl Jr. And actually the times aren't really faster as the other matches on these maps. Versus BX3, the same times were driven around 58 seconds. At no consistent 57 every round. So again, we are here with Tamarillo. This time Tamarillo being a little bit in front. Spectators close, losing the lead here. Carl is really having a different line. Tamarillo likes to go wider and tries to get out with more speed, but it doesn't seem that it's working. Carl is uh, point 0.10 in front still, Ooh, going wide. Tamarillo with more speed overtaking Carl Jr. 
taking the lead. A nice corner. A real, oh, wow. Why? Hitting the wall, driving against the wall. The pressure, maybe. The nerves. Who knows? Who knows? He was in front with around 10 hundreds before hitting the wall. So, 3 2 1 for Carl. Carl won three rounds in a row now. First round was for Tamarillo. There we go again. New round, new chances. Let's go to Carl for the start. It seems like the start of Carl is faster almost every round. And Tama having a bug there. Another bug. Two bugs already at the start. Yeah, you see that Tama is jumping a little bit there. That made him bug the last round. Oh well, two rounds ago. But Carl is having a nice lead again. 25 hundreds in front. If he's smart, he knows what the position of Tama is behind him, and he knows or knows he doesn't really have to risk. 37 hundreds in front, he's even extending his lead. He goes safe in the end. He isn't risking the no drift in the last corner, but he still drives a 57.67. That's really fast. Let's have a look at the Daddy Mania records. They want to open, and if not, it's fine. Ah, there we go. 57, 67. It's around here, the 20th daily. Driving dailies during a match is really pretty fine. Pretty good, especially during the final, with the pressure. So, Tama and Carl having an equal start. Carl takes the lead, comes out with more speed, but going wider, wow, really a risky, risky part by Carl, almost hitting the walls. Oh, Carl releasing gas, Tamarillo also releasing a little bit of gas. This is the best, <laughs> this is the best round we had so far. This time they are really driving equal. Tama with a better line, getting more speed, Carl having the inside. Tama still in front, it all comes down to the last two corners, this is one, this is the last one, and it's Tama, 57.66, what kind of times are they driving? That's amazing, let's, uh, let's see if they can keep it up on this stage. So let's follow Carl for the start. Seems like they are still equal. Ah, there is Tama. He pops out of the Carl of Jr. And again, Carl Jr. has a faster start. It seems like Carl is having a different line, which makes him faster almost every round during the start. And you saw Tamarillo having a little bug. Oh, Carl is having a landing bug. How unlucky. A landing bug. That, that happens just rarely. Truly rarely. We probably won't even see another landing bug during the match. That's really unfortunate for Carl Jr. But Tama can drive safe in the lead with 45 hundreds in front. And will he save it? He does. Carl having a no drift as well, but he knows the round is for Tamarillo. And Tama can drive a safe 58 12 without any big problems. A landing bug. <laughs> we probably won't see another one this match. They don't happen really often. But well, Tama could use it. Now it's 3 to 4 for Carl Jr. Tama coming back again. And again, let's see. At the start, why is Carl Jr. faster every time? Oh yeah, really a fast line there. And already, I, I guess about 10 hundreds? 1500s in front. Yeah, we can see how important this start is. 1700s in front. If you have a good start, 
it really matters for the rest of the round. So Carl still being 20 hundreds in front. Oh, Carl having a wrong line. Tama comes back a little bit. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. And no, it's still Carl. Carl first, 57.73 and 57.82. Two really good times. But this makes it 5 to 3 for Carl Jr. Hopefully it won't get 6 points for Carl. Then he's on match point. So let's see if Tama can win some rounds. Let's go to Tama. There we go. So and this is the corner where Carl takes the lead every time. These combinations of corners. Oh, Carl risking there. He went over the Ramstein. But Tama Rillo is jumping a little bit again and he loses speed. So Tama is still 1500s behind. Taking a wider line here. He wants more speed. And he gets more speed, coming closer to Carl. Oh, too wide. Oh, nice corner. Yeah, another nice corner. More speed than Carl. More speed than Carl. Where's Carl? Oh, Carl going wide. Carl bugging. Oh, lucky bug or not? No. Oh, 57 69. <laughs> what a round. How close. Carl getting a last, a last bug in the last corner, a bug in the last corner, but it made him drift, and it made him drift pretty good, but Tama still won the round, very nice, let's follow Tama again at the start, it seems like Tama is having slower starts, this first corner is quite equal, well not this round, and this is the one that Carl takes faster, oh Carl, Carl extending his lead, Tama made a little mistake. Again we see Tama Carl bouncing a little bit. Carl, 1500s in front now. Oh wow, what does he do? Carl hitting the wall there and he gave up. Yeah, this is a round for Tamarillo. This is a round for Tamarillo. 5 to 5 now. Carl won't be able to get close to Tamarillo. He's 9 seconds behind. What's happening? It's nothing for Carl to make a mistake like that. But Tama knows the position of Carl. Drives a safe 58-34. No problems. He's doing his job. And drives through the finish. And yeah, the daddy one is cut. It. I think the top 3 or 4 daddies are cut it, actually. Not only the first one. So uh, you shouldn't look at the CP of the top one during uh, during the stream. At least not on this map. Let's stick with Tama. He made a comeback already. Ooh, Tama being in front after the first corner. And this is the corner where Carl is faster almost every time. And he f he's... Yeah, there he is again. Oh, Tama oh, risking so much there. Again that little hop, little bounce. But again we see Carl in front, 20 hundreds this time, 14 hundreds. Carl going a bit wider, getting more speed. Better line by Carl here, yeah that's the round. Tama hitting the wall. Carl is getting a match point, 6 to 5 for Carl Jr. Drive safely through the finish. Um, probably we will get a kick incoming. Um, I don't know who OG Big Red is. He might be someone that's commentating maybe or streaming. But if he's a driver, I'm afraid he uh, won't stay for long. This might be the last round. It's tennis mode, by the way. Remember it. So if Carl wins the round. Then it's over. If Tama wins the round, then they have to drive until 8 points. And yeah, there we go. Tama in front this time for a difference. 
Ooh, you saw Carl releasing his gas. He probably felt he was going too wide. A different line by Carl. Tama being in front with 1300. It's the first time we see Tama driving in front without any crashes, crashes during the round. No crash by Carl, no crash by Tama. The last few combination of corners. Come on. Oh. Carl is getting closer. Last corner, last corner. And it's. Oh! <laughs> It's it's <laughs> it's Tamarillo taking the round. Carl just came out of nowhere in the last corner, but he hit the wall. And Tamarillo getting the round with just four hundreds in front of Carl. How close! And it's tennis mode. They have to drive until eight points now. Remember, it's six six. They have to drive until eight points. And you might recognize tennis mode. Um, if you also watched the match versus BX3, me and Foss had a amazing, amazing two on two against DNS and John from BX3, and we finally ended the two on two with a score of 12 to 10 for Team Acer. But okay, let's hope it won't take that long, this one on one. And we see Tamarillo is still being close to Carl. Carl going wider again, getting more speed. Let's switch to Tamarillo, he's behind. Oh, Carl having a really nice corner there. Another one. And no bugs now. No bugs. Not hitting the wall, nothing. 57-61. That's the fastest round we've seen so far. Ah, low. <laughs> Apparently there was no tennis mode installed on the server, or that at least, well, it's probably somewhere installed, but it's not in the setup at the moment. 6 to 7, <laughs> Facebook. Okay, we have to remember it, 6 to 7. Uh, but they go live immediately. Yeah. The max points are still on 7 instead of uh, like 200. But well, it's 7 to 6 for Carl. Let's switch to Tama. Where's Tama? There he is. This corner again. Here he loses Tama. Time again. Oh, Carl risking. Why? He crashes. I hope Tama saw that Carl made a big crash there. That's where. Where is he? 60, 70 hundreds behind. Oh, Tama making a miss. Oh, why? He makes a mistake. Driving against the wall. That's the round. He gives, he gives the one-on-one -on -one to Carl. That's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Carl making a mistake. And apparently, Tama didn't really notice what was going on during the round. Still risk it for the biscuit. And he... Hits the wall. Oh wow. Yeah, what the fuck just happened? So, the one on one goes to Carl Jr. A really unfortunate ending. Um, too bad. But well, so far we have a nice match anyway, it's quite close, but we see more mistakes during the one-on-one -on -one than we had, I guess, BX3 with Poker and B playing. So there might be nerves going on, we'll see. Now the 2-on-2 two two will be driven. Um, if I still want the game outlast, <laughs> yeah, well, maybe another time. I, uh, I probably, uh, I'll, I'll be able to download it someday, I guess. Maybe a Pirate Bay or whatever, it's still active, you know. <coughs> so they're just warming up now. And in the meantime I'll be on my desktop a little.
you have to buy. Ah, it's not a game that is able to. It's not a game that I can download, right? Outlast, apparently. Last one out. Okay, there we go. They had their warm ups. We are going live. Poker and Royal are going to drive to two versus two for Team Acer. Against, 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 against. Kayan and Bergy. There we go. Kayan and Bergy versus Poker and Royal. Uh, let me check the stream chat again instead of the Facebook. Top. Okay, there we go. Let's switch to camera one again and let's follow Wu. Wu. We are going to follow the one that's on the back. That's Royal. So. Oh, Pokemon having a little problem in that corner, falling from first to the last place. But it's still very close. Not even uh, 15 hundreds between the players. Oh, Royal not going safe. Drives against the wall. Poker has to finish first place. He has to finish first place. Where's Poker? Let's go to Poker. Poker is really close. Oh, Bergy, more speed. Bergy still in the lead. Kayan also near. And uh, Bergy takes the first place. Poker second. And they all drive a 57, and there is Royal. <laughs> a one minute two. So yeah, just uh, just a little explanation for people that don't often watch a two versus two. You have the chance of getting a lot of draws if someone is first and last, and the other two are third and second. Then you get a draw, and normally we drive sub matches until seven points, but the two on two is until five points because of the draws. And we might see a draw coming up. And we see also Poker releasing his gas because he almost hit the wall. So he's really driving safe that corner, but he went too wide. At this time, Royal is the one that needs to take the first place against Kayan and Bergy. Well, that's a tough situation to be in. Oh, Bergy having a landing bug. Another one. It's unbelievable. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Royal having a having a nice first place here. Kyan on his tail. On his tail, not ill, tail. Oh, Kyan taking a bit worse corner than Royal. Royal extending his lead. 
Where's Poker? Yep, if Royal finishes first, this round goes to Team Acer. And he will. Very nice time, 57-74. Great round there. And this makes the round 1-2-1. One, one. We see a landing bug again, the second one during this match. And you won't see him often. But uh, apparently during the finals uh, we get surprised by the landing bug. And it's not a mistake, sorry for spoiler. <laughs> He always says that bugs are mistakes, but uh, a landing bug is really something you can't help. It's just uh, it's just luck or unluck, or not luck, whatever. So we see Poker and Burgi falling a bit to the back, Kain and Royal being in front. Oh, yep. This is the landing bug part. No landing bugs this round. Poker going wider, getting out with more speed. And Kayan still driving in front. Royal on the still. Oh, oh, Poker had a bad landing there. It's something that Poker couldn't do anything about. It's just the landing. That's weird sometimes. But Kayan looks taking the first. Oh, Royal making a mistake. Oh, this could have been a draw. Rough. <laughs> if Royal didn't make a, made a mistake, he would be second or third because of Bergy making a mistake as well. Unfortunately it's 2-1 for Dignitas. And we continue. Uh, we won the 1 versus 1. Carl Jr. versus Tamarello with a score of 8-6 for Carl. <coughs> Let's uh, go to the back a little. So, this time the two Acer guys are driving in front. Poker and Royal are having a nice, nice lead there. Driving together. And also the Dignitas guys are driving together. But there's a different difference of 10 to 15 hundreds. Oh, there comes Burgi. Burgi having a bad landing. But look at the speed of Kai. Oh, Royal, what are you doing? Royal isn't being the most consistent, making a little mistake, Kai is making a mistake as well, but it makes no difference. This is the first draw of this match. Poker first, Bergen and Kai in the middle, and Royal finishing on the last place. So where are the team scores? Oh, we, we don't have individual scores this time. To get oh well, we can. Ah, there we go. Aha, we have the team scores. Poker 12, Kayan 11, Burgi 10, Royal 7. So, Poker and Kayan battling for the first place. Burgi and Royal battling for the third. Royal wins the battle at the moment. Oh, Royal getting a bug. You don't get a bug often there. Let's go to Poker. Poker has to overtake Kayan. Because we need another draw. If the position stayed like this. Royal still in the last place. Last corner, come on, Poker. No, it's Kayan taking the lead. Burgi taking third. And Royal is lost again. Having that little buck in the middle of the map. Switch cameras again. So let's stick with Poker for the start. And Kayan pops out of Poker, taking the lead there. Oh, risky. Ooh, uh, they are so close to each other, you can't actually see them. <laughs> That's unbelievable, driving with four persons, four persons and they all drive inside each other's car. But Poker falls down a bit, oh Kayan hitting the wall, we don't see that happen very often. 
This is a chance for Team Acer. This is a chance for Team Acer. Someone of Team Acer needs to get the first place to get. Oh, and Burgi also hits the wall. There we go. Well, that's clearly a point for Team Acer then this round. 57.94 and 58.05 are the times of Acer, which aren't really fast, but well, it's not about speed, it's about consistency. And uh, well, this round it seemed that uh, Acer did a better job this time. Royal not having a bug or crashing somewhere, and Poker is just doing his thing. So now we see Karyan in front. A little train already. Oh, yes, poker going. Let's go to poker. Driving in the last place. And the first three are driving really close to each other. Oh, almost hitting the wall, guys. Well, Bergie is having...